Welcome to the Texas ESL Supplemental Number 154 Exam Preparation Course. This first section is the introduction. It will include information about the test, the domains, and who are English learners. Please take time to read all of the provided information as it will help you throughout the rest of the course modules. Let's take a moment to talk about the actual test. The English as a Second Language Supplemental Exam is coded as number 154. The test is five hours long, includes 80 multiple choice questions, some of which may not be scored, and the final scaled score is based only on scored questions. This is a computer administered test and may include interactive click and drag questions in addition to the multiple choice. The content of the test can be categorized into three domains. Domain one includes language concepts and language acquisition in educator standards one and three. Within domain one, competencies one and two are reviewed. Domain one comprises approximately 25% of the exam. Domain two covers ESL instruction and assessment. It includes educator standards one, three, four, five, and six. Within domain two, competencies three through seven are reviewed. Domain two comprises approximately 45% of the exam. Domain three reviews the foundations of ESL education, cultural awareness, and community involvement. It includes educator standards two and seven. Within domain three, competencies eight, nine, and 10 are reviewed. Domain three comprises approximately 30% of the exam. You will notice the Texas Examinations of Educator Standards, or Texas Program Preparation Manual, found on the test registration website, outlines seven educator standards, which may overlap and correspond to more than one domain. This course and the corresponding manual focus on the 10 competencies in which the standards are embedded. We will review the competency statements next, and the course itself will provide in-depth detail on each of their corresponding components. Within each domain, content is further defined by a set of competencies. Each competency is composed of competency statements, which are broad definitions of what an entry-level ESL educator should know and be able to do and descriptive statements, which are detailed descriptors of the knowledge and skills eligible for testing. Competency 1 states that the ESL teacher understands fundamental language concepts and knows the structure and conventions of the English language. In Competency 2, the ESL teacher is required to understand the processes of first language, L1, and second language, L2, acquisition, and the interrelatedness of L1 and L2 development. Competency three is about understanding ESL teaching methods and using knowledge to plan effective instruction. Competency four elaborates on the promotion of students' communicative language development. Competency five focuses on the promotion of students' literacy development in English. Competency six requires the ESL teacher to understand the promotion of students' content area learning, development, and achievement. Competency seven covers assessment procedures and instruments used in ESL programs. The focus of competency eight is on the foundations of ESL education and types of ESL programs. Competency nine covers the factors that affect ESL student learning. Competency 10 requires the ESL teacher to know how to advocate for ESL students and facilitate family and community involvement. In an effort to better establish understanding and purpose, the domains and competencies in this course are organized as follows. Domain three, foundations of ESL education, cultural awareness, and family and community involvement, 
with competencies eight, nine, and 10. Domain one, language concepts and language acquisition with competencies one and two. And domain two, ESL instruction and assessment with competencies three, four, five, six, and seven. Who are English learners? Let's define them and take a look at the data. English learners may include students whose primary languages are languages other than English, students who may be in the process of acquiring English language proficiency, students at different stages of English language development, students with diverse backgrounds to include sociocultural perspective, linguistic repertoire, or academic knowledge in primary language. According to PEAMS data, Texas currently has 1,113,518 identified English learners enrolled as of spring 2020, making up 20% of the total student population, or one in five students in Texas. This is an increase of over 50,000 identified English learners from fall 2019. Of these English learners, about half are served in ESL programs. In Texas, over 78% of English learners are born in the United States. Over 130 languages are represented in Texas schools. Nearly 89% of the identified English learners in Texas have a primary language of Spanish. The next nine prominent language backgrounds of English learners in Texas are Vietnamese, Arabic, Urdu, Mandarin, Burmese, Telugu, Korean, French, and Swahili. The English as a Second Language Supplemental Exam is coded as number 154. The test is five hours long, includes 80 multiple choice questions, some of which may not be scored, and the final scaled score is based only on scored questions. This is a computer administered test and may include interactive click and drag questions in addition to the multiple choice. Texas educator candidates now use the following site to register, schedule their test, and access their scores. www.tx.nesinc.com You have reached the end of this introduction section. It is now time to exit this module and move to the next module.